हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट अ बिग ऑपरचुनिटी वंस अगेन ऑन योर वे यस द नवरत्न पीएसयू हिंदुस्तान एरोनॉटिक्स लिमिटेड एच ए एल हैज फाइनली अनाउंस इट्स रिक्रूटमेंट फॉर द करेंट ईयर एंड यू नो फॉर एच ए एल लाइक ऑफ पी एस यू लाइक लास्ट ईयर ऑल्सो इट कंडक्टेड अ सेपरेट एग्जामिनेशन सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स वर वेटिंग की वेन इट इज गोइंग टू कंडक्ट वेदर इट इज गोइंग टू बी थ्रू गेट और विदाउट गेट वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी सिलेक्शन प्रोसीजर सो टूडे दैट इज सेकेंड ऑफ ऑगस्ट दे हैव गिवन द कंप्लीट डिटेल सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स नो ऑल अबाउट दिस द नंबर ऑफ can see the selection procedure the important dates eligibility criteria etc so let's quickly learn about all of these important things here so first of all guys the very important thing for you ki sir vacancies kitni hai let me highlight the number of vacancies here and the decent number of vacancies okay but again as regularly expected there are two types of force design trainee and management trainee design trainee for uh, there are categories aeronautical electrical electronics and mechanical okay Aer aeronautical 9 electrical 12 electronics 44 and mechanical being 30 so good opportunity for all of the branches especially mechanical and electronics and when you come to the management trainee computer science 23 vacancies are there to computer science students also there is a golden opportunity for you right electrical 16 okay electronics 13 right mechanical 30 so that means if you have to summarize see uh, whatever be the case if you have to summarize ec students okay you are going to be recruited for 44 plus how much 44 plus 13 that is 57 okay and mechanical me ki baat kare so 30 plus 30 60 if i want to talk about electrical okay so electrical has 12 plus 16 that is 28 opportunity for computer science it is 23 opportunity so these are total number of vacancy if i include the design trainee and management trainee for the core branches and now let's get moving ahead as well now if you want to talk about the next particular branch okay production also has five seats and metallurgy three seats now let's talk about the next important element of this notification okay and uh, that is yeah the uh, you know specified branches and the eligible branches already we i specified the branches okay aeronautical what are what branches are eligible aeronautical and aerospace for electrical it is electrical electrical electronic double e as well as electrical and instrumentation are eligible if i want to talk about electronics 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 and communication instrumentation available because there is always a doubt in instrumentation students whether they can apply or not clearly mentioned instrumentation and control instrumentation and electronics applied electronics instrumentation instrumentation and electronics and electronics and telecommunication for mechanical it is plain mechanical mechanical and industrial mechanical and production and similar list is there for the uh, management trainee post as well okay so if you are falling under any of these branches you are eligible to apply for this particular examination and also there is a minimum criteria that is the cgpa of your particular semester examinations of your bachelor's degree the complete cgpa right the sum total the, the cumulative grade should be 70% right if you are from the uh, unreserved or obc non creamy layer or ews category if you are sc st or pwd candidates okay then it is going to be uh, physically uh, physically dis, uh, disabled it is 60% okay right be it design trainee or even for management trainee same criteria so this is the minimum btech percentage cgpa required now next important is age criteria okay the age should not be above 28 years as on 22nd of august of this particular year because 22nd of august is going to be the last day for form filling that wo bhi aage hum dekhenge so your age should not be 28 years this is definitely for uh, you know general category right and then there are definitely age relaxations normally like 5 years for sc st right and then you know there are several age criteria but yeah mostly this is important 28 years for general and for sc st general and uh, obc and for sc st it's 5 uh, years of relaxation okay now mode of payment there is a nominal fee of 500 to fill up the form of this okay but if you are again sc st or uh, pwbd then you are exempted from the payment of any type of application fee okay registration process ki baat kare to it starts today itself that is 2nd of august yes from 2nd of august 5 pm the registration has started and it is going to be up to 22nd of august right it is going to be up to 22nd of august so registration ke liye important hai 22 august up to 22nd august you have the window to you know fill up the form so if you are clear ki aap bharna hi hai aapko so don't delay it till the last moment uh, do it up as quickly as possible this is what i advise to you now very very important that you might be looking it as the selection process okay the very very important thing that i might be looking at as the selection process and very clearly mention that there is going to be all india online examination oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho so sorry 
Yeah. There is going to be the All India Online Examination. Okay, a separate All India Online Examination. So it's definitely not through gate. As a separate opportunity is given now. Okay, now what is the pattern of this online examination? That is very important. Uske baare mein learn karenge. So the pattern of this examination. Have a look into this. Let me highlight this once again. Let me highlight this once again. The very very important part here, guys. The test will be of two and a half hours. Okay, so the test duration is two and a half hours, and that is divided into three different parts. Okay, two and a half hours divided into three different part. All the questions will be MCQ in nature. All the questions will be purely MCQ in nature. Now, what are the three parts? Part one, its pattern is similar to last year. Part one, twenty MCQs on general awareness, right? Part two will have forty MCQs on English and reasoning. Right, English and reasoning. So again, right, this is a portion you are already prepared with the gate preparation. I say, right, and if you are already prepared for ESC also, then you might be aware about general awareness as well. And the part three, the technical part, that will consist of hundred MCQs, hundred MCQs on the concerned disciplines. So overall, overall twenty, forty, one hundred, total one sixty MCQs. Right, total one sixty MCQs, and the time is one fifty minutes. Right. Okay, the time is one fifty minutes. So question are going to be you know mostly of simple category numericals be honge, but simple numericals or it could be factual and theory based question as well a lot. Now candidates will be shortlisted for interview based on the performance on the written examination and it will be in the ratio of one is to five. Right? Suppose uh, for any particular branch the vacancies are forty. Okay, so two hundred uh, candidates will be called up for the interview. Two hundred candidates will be called up for the interview. This is what. Is there now? Very important. Final merit list shall be prepared by assigning the weightage of eighty-five percent for online test and fifteen percent for interview. That means the big, the biggest, the huge weightage is for online test. So if you have really prepared, okay, you just need to revise up. I'll tell you the exam date. Also, it's approximately just one month ahead. Okay, so you just have to revise up everything you prepared for gate ESE. Some of you might be already preparing for ISRO and NEET examinations as well. Okay, so you know, I just revise it. And the maximum weightage is for online test. Of course, fifteen percent is interviews also there, but eighty-five percent means mostly they are relying on the online test. Performance as well. Okay, candidates should also secure at least fifty percent marks, fifty percent marks each in written test and interview. Otherwise, also you are not qualified. Okay, which you can do easily provided you have decent preparation. Okay, now moving ahead to the next important point of the notification. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, definitely uh, they have mentioned that you know you will be under sorry. You will be under the notice period, and you will be sorry, not notice period. You will be under going a training of fifty-two weeks, that is one year. Okay, in any of their specified uh, location. Okay, and uh, let's move ahead to the next important point. Okay, yeah, very important point is during the training period. What is your pay scale? You have a basic pay of forty thousand during the training period. Now, very very important point where students are interested for. Isko ham alag se highlight kar lete. Look into this. Okay, because ultimately, okay, number of vacancies and how much you are going to get. Okay, both of these will play the very major role in your, uh, uh, you know, motivation in your uh, preparation towards the examination. So as I mentioned, forty thousand. Okay, during the training period. Okay, now. After successful completion of the training, the trainees would be absorbed as engineers in the grade two scale of pay of forty thousand to one lakh forty thousand. So grade two scale you will be allotted if you are uh, you know completing the training successfully. On absorption, the officer will be eligible for everything that the regular government employee is eligible. Right, that is the basic pay, variable DNS allowance, other perks and allowances, including the cafeteria system, company accommodation. That is HRA also you can call it as. Performance related pay, that is the variable pay incentives. You can say right, especially for the management trainees and medical facilities, PF, gratuity, and every other thing. Okay, that you expect under uh, under you know central these PSUs, the Navratna PSUs. Right, guys. So again, uh, big motivation that not only you don't have to look at the basic pay, but you have to look into the several additional facilities that you get, like house, fooding, cafeteria support, and and, and medical facilities, uh, insurance, and all those things. That means your extra expenses will be very minimal. So provided this, uh, the salary is decent, and that to a stable and a secure job. Job uh, will be offered here. Now, very very important schedule. की बात कर लेते हैं. The final and the most important thing for you, as I already mentioned, the registration starts from today, second August, and up to twenty second of August. Now, what is the exam date? What is the exam date? So, online selection test will be conducted for the duration of nine September up to eleven September. 
it will be conducted for the duration of 9 september to 11 september it is an online selection test as we mentioned previously also and very transparent system okay very transparent system the uh, declaration of results is also uh, mentioned at 13th of september that is just after two days of the completion of online selection test the result will be declared and then you can download the uh, interview call letter by 18 september now interview kaboga interview for the shortlisted candidates interview in the ratio of 1 is to 5 that will start from the month of october 9th october to 11th of october that is one month after the written examination interview is going to be conducted okay finally declaration of the list of selected candidates in h n h a l that is 13th of october that is also very quick okay and then you can download your offer of appointment by 18th of october there will be definitely a medical test you have to undergo okay and the h a l hospitals only and that is 25th october to 10th of november that's a window they have given pre-employment administrative formalities uh, joining formalities okay and then the commencement of training program so whether you will start your training somewhere by end of november that's what you can expect so complete a to z details is given and now guys several times okay we just keep telling you okay keep preparing for your exam beat gate essay because it's not only gate the picture is much bigger those who prepared they got the benefit that you know isro notification is there i'm telling you there are several small notifications also but i'm telling you the big ones isro is there nil it is there hl has again come up right now exam date 9 september se start ho right just one month, okay, one month and you know, one week ahead, 35, 40 days are there for the examination. If you're not prepared for technical, you can't prepare in 35, 40 days. But if you have prepared for GAT, ESC, ESO, anything, you can revise and you can fight in this examination. That is what guys, always you have to be very serious about this technical exam, that is especially GAT and ESC, because if you're prepared, your path is open to multiple multiple dimensions okay so you know the big opportunity guys do your best okay we'll prepare uh, separate sessions for preparation strategy and practice okay we'll support you in all possible manner spread this notification let everybody know about this and let everybody fight for it okay bye bye and stay subscribed to the channel if you want to be aware about all such notifications and important activities for engineers bye bye thank you stay safe